I think it's an absolute bare minimum to keep the state going, and, but unfortunately there are a couple of things that were not funded. And at the top of the list, I would say child care counts. Um, much like the long-term care industry was really uh, teetering on the edge, and without those necessary public funds, we would have virtually no long-term care infrastructure. The same thing is happening in child care, and COVID made it worse, but this has been a crisis over the last 20 years. We have lost, in less than 20 years, more than half of our, healthcare provider, or our child care providers in the state, and we stand to lose another 2,000 if we do not fund the Child Care Counts program. What we're doing with things like child care um, are resuming pro programs that existed pre-COVID, pre but funding those programs that existed pre-COVID. I think we've done really well in Wisconsin with things like our youth apprenticeship and apprenticeship programs, letting youth try out some of these positions um, and kick the tires before they go on and um, seek out jobs in these positions that are really, really needed in healthcare. So all of these sorts of things were, were um, funded in the budget. 